Windows 8 64 bit Post M3 A new login screen. If you use the scroll wheel, if you don't have a touch, you can scroll it up and down. Here is the login screen. Go more options. I could do it with the password, or I could do it with the touch screen if I had one. Okay, what's new that I've found out so far, or what's obviously found out, this here, apparently it's for Windows Live Services. I'm not entirely sure, but it does nothing except for show your name in the picture right now. And then you got your keyboard for touchscreen. There it goes. There's the touchscreen keyboard. I can split it. I can write on it. I can hide it, which goes over here now. So that's for that's for tablets, so you can do it with your thumbs. Or your full size. I don't really need it though. Okay, what else did we find new here? Um, nothing much is going on there. I bring... Actually, here, let me bring this up. This is new. This is all new here. You no longer have your file buttons, file options, edit buttons. It's all done by the ribbon bar. This is something that was lost in Windows 8. That's not. That was in Windows 7. You go to view. There used to be the detail bar at the bottom. The de detail bar now gets replaced by the preview and detail are all on the same side so you can't have them all showing at the same time. That sucks. I go back. You got your drive options up here. Up here. This is new too. You can back up and back up again. Apparently it's on there twice. You can all do that without actually having to right click anymore. The ribbon bar basically gets rid of right clicking altogether because all the options are now within the ribbon bar. So if I click on C drive, pull back. Okay, now I go back up here. I go view. This is something I don't know if most people noticed. You can now f show file extensions and hidden without actually having to bring up the right menu. Kind of cool to have. I haven't found out how to do the, uh, well, I know how to do it, but not through the ribbon bar, is uh, for single click users. Extra large details, files, I can sort them by. Sort by, there you go. So you don't have to right click that anymore. You can add columns fit to size or I could add it there too. They got the sharing options at the top. It includes your burning and sharing to window and then you got your homes. 
So that's new with the Explorer, minus a few features. They put the uh, search over there. Now, if I remember, Control and Alt. That's all they do. So you don't get the file menu when you hit the Alt button anymore. I'll be back to see if I can show you some new stuff. Number two, what else did they change or add? The impressive new task manager. This is the process tab. Well, first off, this is what it would default look like if I had something running, let's say... Apparently not. Okay, there we go. And you can click on tab, it does that basically. Or you can get more information about it. You get more information. See the names. How much it's taking out for CPU, memory disk and network activity which is really cool about this let's say you got you know crap load of these local hosts right you want to know what's running underneath them you just click this and poof that local host has all those other services running underneath it I could go start up check my startup and if I wanted to show by users that's all I'm using under myself same idea, just sorts it sorts just the user though. So that's the new uh, task manager, and it's really handy, really a lot more better than the old ones. Okay, the new user account. I've already got it set up, but there's a note to take on this. Okay, when I go enable touch area, then I could say delete my pattern but let's just say I've never set it up before so you can set up your pattern you have to retype it back in you actually need to have your account passworded to do a, a touch pattern as well you don't have a password already set up it will refuse you to set up the pattern touch thought that was a bit weird that's new with that oh your change a picture oh where is it change your look I guess you can use a uh, Windows media files for your another new thing that's been redesigned is the, win is the Windows backup I don't know if most people took a look at this, but if I go to recover your system, uh, select another backup. How about recover system settings are on your computer? There we go. I could restore it to a recent point, or I could restore it to original factory settings. Basically, formats your machine and redoes it for you without needing the disk. So that's. That's the new, it's the new backup.